Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Inks and I'm from IGS Electronics and today we're checking out Siemens Logo TDE HMI, call it with your human machine interface, whatever that is. These HMIs have been specifically designed for Siemens logos and basically what this guy does in here, he pretty much displays because the Siemens logo has got his own little screen and that's pretty much what this guy does as well. It just, it's just, you can put this in the remote and you can do quite a bit more. You can interact with these buttons with your, with your, um, uh, your logo as well. And also got these, uh, these buttons in here. So quite significantly more, but generally it will display exactly what a uh, small little screen uh, does on a logo itself. It will display it all in here and allow you to interact in many different ways with your logo. It's a really, really cool screen if you are liking to uh, have a, like an outside panel uh, control option. So that's the way to go. This is their uh, one of their latest versions. So as it has a uh, Ethernet port for it. So um, so yeah, and this is what we're going to be doing today. We're going to check out how to get this thing connected up and uh, communicate with our logo and see how it pretty much works. So. Uh, all right, manuals and any videos that I could think it could help you and benefit you in any possible way will be in the description below. So do check it out. So without further ado, let's get started. So all powered up, ready to go. So let's have a look at the back of it. As you can see, then here I have a two Ethernet uh, ports in here. Uh, one is P2, one is P1. P1 goes to a uh, P1 uh, in here, as you can see, even says in there X1 P1, and then and, and P2 is this is where my network comes to and goes straight into my home network. And then you have a 24 volt uh, DC supply in here, even though it doesn't say it says again P2 and P1. Then it's ML plus NL1. Oh, yeah, there we go. You can sort of more, more or less start putting down what is what. So, yeah, it's 24 volt DC down there. So once you power it all up, there's really not that much uh, you need to do to get, you, get, get, get your communications with your logo. So all you need to do, if you go in the logo selection, so in the logo selection, you need to uh, select the logo uh, logo network, uh, basically the logo IP address. So if you can see in here, my logo IP address is 002. So what I'm gonna do, that, uh, enter that one, and we're gonna go into, Zero two. There we go. BM is running straight, and that is it. You are pretty much straight away communicating with your logo. So uh, and uh, and then pretty much after that, you can now uh, work with whatever whatever you can do in the program. So set parameters if you wish. No parameters are there. There was the program name. There was no program name, and then the setup. This is the network IP addresses. So you can see diagnostics, you can have software, can we run software? Here we go, yep. Yeah. Firmware version, pretty much uh, all the other stuff you want to, uh, yeah. So internet, diagnostic network is okay. SD card, micro SD card, card det detached. Mac address, yeah, here you go. So pretty much you can do all sorts of different things in there. So in here, and obviously you can do as well your a uh, TDE setup, your so message configuration, LCD menu language. There's obviously your network for TDE. That's mainly for if you are going into, uh, I believe it's for the cloud because there's no other way of uh, why would you need that? So, cause you can't really connect to it with the software, at least for this screen. So, uh, so yeah, that's the IP for this. And obviously TDE diagnostics, if you want a firmware version, Mac address and so on, so on. So. So I uh, haven't done that, so once you leave, as you can see now, I am able to see exactly what the, the, the HMI is, the little screen down there is seen. So if I start uh, start uh, a, my little bat, as, as we did all this setup for, in the previous videos, so that's pretty much what we're popping up with all these messages. Obviously, this is a very basic, is more or less introduction in, in getting you going. Main thing is, you enter into the logo. If you're going in here in a logo selection, make sure you enter the logo's IP address and you should be good to go. And then is that you have all these buttons in here and then we're gonna jump on the on a, uh, um, a computer and let create a little, a little program so we can start with these buttons and they sort of give you a uh, sort of a, a good understanding of what can you do with it. So later on, we're gonna do a bit more with analogs, display analogs in there and things like that. So for now, let's uh, let's jump on a, a laptop and and uh, change uh, change some things around so we can start our little belt with these buttons in front of us. 
Yeah, well, this is our old uh, program we did in the last video. The only thing we're going to do in here is we're going to change these inputs. So let's remove those. So we're just going to add, as you can see, there's a cursor keys. So that's the one uh, up, down, sideways, uh, left and right. So, and then obviously it's just logo FD uh, function keys. Just click on that, put them in, and there we go. So uh, now he's going to be using them as your uh, start and stop. Very, very, very simple. Obviously, you can name them if you want to, and uh, if you go in the comment section, then you can in simulation. Um, uh, there you go. So you can uh, momentary push button. You can have a, a uh, make or break or frequency or uh, there's a whole lot of other things there. But I'll leave you guys to check that out yourselves. So another thing is, as you can see on the end screen, you can have a bit of a choice how your messages is getting displayed. Once you connect that screen, so you can obviously select priority of the message displays, which which messages comes first, and, uh, and then you can cycle through them. And in here, you can sort of select is it logo display or is logo TD display. And if you don't want the logo display to have this message, you can just select that one. At the moment, I'll leave it as, as default for both. Why not? And obviously, if you're working with web server, so you will collect, uh, select for the web server. And so, uh, and then, uh, and then, and this sort of, sort of gives you the choice where you want that message to be displayed and how. Uh, and yeah, and then obviously this is our screen in answers where you, where you more or less can uh, get put those messages up. Also, this is a very, very basic introduction of what it is and what it, uh, what can you do. This course, of course, there's a lot more to it. And then we're going to progress a little bit with the um, uh, analogs later on so you can display some analog bars and things like that in the next video. So yeah, once, uh, let's let's pump this into the this guy in the PC to logo with it. Pump into the our controller there. So come on. Uh, why is he always taking so long? Here we go. So now we change those uh, I/O, so the buttons is no longer gonna work. We could have actually left it to work about that. So uh, so yeah. So uh, let's jump on to the a uh, an actual R stick and see how that works. Here we are, so let's check if it works now. So here we go, so now F1 works as a start and F2 as a stop. Quite straightforward, nothing too too crazy. And there we go ladies and gentlemen, this is a brief introduction and in logo TD. Of course there is ton you can do with this uh, screen because this is, as I say, if you're building, if you're building a, a, a nice control, uh, control system with logos and have a, want to have a, a cost-effective HMI and which you can interact with your program in many different ways definitely definitely uh, go for this kind of screen it will give you uh, plenty of options for you to achieve your desired goals so that ladies and gentlemen having said that uh, that'll do for this video hope you enjoyed it and, uh, and, and well on your way to get yourself where you want to do so don't forget to like the video if you like the video and don't uh, don't forget to subscribe if you want to support and like uh, like what we're doing in here so having said that Thank you very much for watching and I will see you in the next video.